Hi buddies, welcome back to Gadgets Portal. This is Shukesh Bunek and in this video, I'm going to do some benchmark along with some hardware test on this new Sony Xperia Tivo. I've already uploaded the unboxing and hands-on review and also the comparison between the single SIM and the dual SIM version. Now let's get started with the hardware review of this cute looking little Sony Xperia Tivo single version and the device is actually quite light, it is under 100 gram but still it feels quite solid in hand mainly because of the very sturdy build quality and the very premium plastic on this device. As I mentioned before in the unboxing video, the back cover is easily washable. You can wipe clean it with a wet cloth keeping your phone free from any stain. So you should not be worried about getting the white version like this. Now let's have a quick look on the exterior hardware. It has got a 3.2 inch screen with 480 by 320 pixels and the PPI is 180 which is quite standard for an entry level device. Actually quite good for the price and here are 300 capacity buttons. Here is the option, here is the home and here is the back and they are well backlit as you can see and here on the top you are getting the ear speaker grill over here and there is a proximity sensor and there is also a nice notification LED over here this is a multicolor notification LED and it is also quite helpful for getting an idea of the type of the notification now here on the top you are getting the 3.5mm headset jack and here you are getting the power as well as the lock unlock key and here on the left hand side you are getting the micro USB port for charging as well as the data syncing and here on the back you are getting the microphone hole over here there is also a small groove for removing the back cover which is also a very easy task now here on the right hand side you are getting the volume rocker which is kinda thin but if you hold the phone like this way then accessing the volume rocker as well as the power key with one hand is not an issue. Here on the back you are getting a 3.15 megapixel shooter which does not focus and it can afford up to VG quality videos at the rate of 25 fps. I have already uploaded the camera samples in my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal. Now here you are getting the loudspeaker grill and here is the nice Xperia logo. The back cover of this Sony Xperia Tipo is made of premium quality soft touch plastic and the curvature on the edges of this phone gives this phone a very nice grip in hands. The matte finish on the back also looks quite soothing and very very elegant. Now here on the front as you can see the LCD is a little bit elevated from the bezel with some glossy finish on the bezel and the Xperia logo and the overall design of this phone is quite satisfactory actually I am quite happy with the design and the build quality of this device. This is an entry level device but still it looks quite premium and also feels quite nice. Now let's turn on the device and show you the LCD and other stuffs on this device. Well the 180p on this entry level phone is looking quite nice. Let me show you some photographs to show you the actual capability of the LCD. These photos here are very high quality large size photographs and I've actually clicked them by myself and look at the color reproduction look at the display of this mobile phone it is looking quite nice pixels are looking quite crisp and the color reproduction is also good but actually to speak the truth if you ask me personally i will not say that this is the best mobile screen i have ever seen as it is an entry level device but for the price of the device it is quite good actually i would say this is one of the best mobile screen i have ever seen on the entry level mobile phones now friends let's test the sensors on this phone first of all i'm gonna test the ambient light sensor and as you can see there is no auto brightness control so you have to manually do this so there is no ambient light sensor on this new sony xperia tipo now friends let me show the viewing angles of this lcd well only from the upper vertical viewing angle there is a decolorization and from the other sides it is not that much bad now friends let me show you a demo of the proximity sensor on this phone well the proximity sensor doesn't work when you are making a call but it is working now so the Xperia Tivo does have a proximity sensor which is working quite fine and also working quite fast now let me show you the multi-touch on this device and I am using this live wallpaper over here it has got 1, 2 and 2 point multi touch as you can see and 2 point multi touch is quite standard for an entry level device. Now friends it is the time to show you some benchmarks on this device and let's get started with the quarter standard. Now first let me show you the system information and it is running on Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and the model name is ST21i that is the single sim version and the CPU is ARM version 7 and it is running on 800 megahertz processor and it is single core and here is the RAM information you are getting around 418,000 kilobyte of RAM. 
The display resolution as you know is 320 by 480 with 63Hz refresh rate and the GPU as you can see is Qualcomm Adreno 200. It has also got a 3-axis accelerometer and also a proximity sensor. Now let's begin the test. Here we got the result and it is total of 1468 which is quite nice for an entry level device and it is also just below the Samsung Galaxy Nexus S. Now let me show you Nina Mark 2 benchmark. Well the FPS is 15.8 which is quite ok for an entry level device but I actually expected more than this. Now let me show you the Antutu benchmark. Well, we have got this nice 2626 which is quite nice actually, quite fair for an entry level device like this. Now I am going to test the quality of the loudspeaker. Well, the speaker volume is quite nice actually, it is quite loud and also seems quite clear. It has got xLoud integration from Sony and it actually increases the volume by 30%. You can also turn off the xLoud thing and I feel that without xLoud the sound clarity is better though xLoud is not bad at all and you are also getting some equalizer option on this phone and the preset equalizers are working quite nice though there is no custom equalizer as you can see. Now friends let me show you the internal storage and also the RAM information. Well, you are getting total of 754 MB of space for your application specially and you are also getting internal storage of 2.15 GB which is quite nice. Check my unboxing video where I have shown you the actual internal storage available when you get the phone and also the available memory without any application installed. Now at this moment you are getting 186 MB of RAM free and 222 or 228 MB of RAM being used so total of around 400 MB. Now let's end the running applications and the free RAM will increase as you will see. Well friends here is the end of the detailed hardware test and as there is no way for coating on the display the screen is getting oily very easily. But I personally feel that oily glass feels quite smooth while browsing the fingers over the display. But it is just my personal opinion. Well that's all for now and overall Sony Xperia Tipo is a very nice device, it is quite fast and also feels quite good, the build quality is very good and the design is also quite nice and the price tag is also quite good, it is under 9500 rupees equivalent to 180 USD for the single sim version and 10500 equivalent to 195 USD for the dual sim version. Well just wait for a few days when I will upload the in-depth reviews on this new Sony Xperia Tipo and don't forget to subscribe to Gadgets Portal if you found this video helpful. You can also visit my channel for the unboxing and hands-on review and also check the Tipo single sim version versus dual sim version and also the gaming on this device. I also recommend you to watch the unboxing video of the new Samsung Galaxy Chat and also Samsung Wide Lite. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.